Okay, so I guess I felt like I needed to do some supplies videos because I already covered the binder and the booklets, but um, I also wanted to talk about whiteboards. Seems like such a simple and obvious thing to have, but um, I can't even tell you how much I love whiteboards for my students, actually. Um, I have my own big whiteboard that I use teaching downstairs, and I love the thing. I could not teach without it. Um, and we just do so much on there. Even discussions, I'll have the kids come up and, you know, write things, draw things, do all that. So they love it, too. Um, but just a quick little tip. Um, the Mr. Clean erasers erase better than anything at all. So I would highly recommend grabbing those as opposed to the little black ones that come standard with Expo markers. So if you can get those, just get them. Um, for sure. But also, um, the other board that I like to have is just a blank whiteboard. It's see, you can see this. It's not very big. Yeah, I think you can kind of see it. It's not the greatest videoing. <laughs> this is on my laptop, but I wanted to get it done. Um, I have to wait otherwise. So this is the whiteboard that I have my boys keep on their desk. And we use it for math, so when I want them to do practices on of different problems, they use these. Um, when we're beginning to work on a new unit in the excellence in writing, doing the outlines, I have them use these. And it's just really anything else. There's spelling they can do on this, their beginning writing they can do on this, practicing penmanship, anything. So I love having these um, at their desks because they just Sometimes they just need extra practice at things and this is a great way to do it and not wasting a bunch of paper and you know, they can draw at times and we're not doing anything and so there's a lot that these can be used for. These are really great also for road trips and now that I have purchased these <laughs> for school I actually find because they're only like four bucks a piece that, which is pretty great for something so big and dry erasable. I use them all over my house now too. <laughs> I've actually got one on my fridge for like things, that, a littler one because they have smaller ones at Learning Palace by the way, that's where you get it. Um, I've got a smaller one on my fridge for like leftovers because we always forget what's in our fridge for leftovers so I put little magnets on the back of that and it's on my fridge. I've got another one that I'm making um, and putting into a pretty frame right now just to put my menus on um, for dinners and uh, I think I've got another one in the works for a couple other things and I'm actually even thinking of putting a couple of these um, just in my kids' rooms because the big ones could be really expensive so even just putting two of these um, in the kids' rooms like just kind of one on top of the other would create a great place for them to be able to do some art and stuff like that. So obviously I love these things. You know you can get whiteboard paint and do all that stuff too but um, living in an apartment, well we don't live in an apartment but living in a rental um, you can't do some permanent things so this is a great alternative and it's really not that expensive either so it's pretty cool anyways I just wanted to share that with you I hope you enjoy and I hope you will get some whiteboards for your kids they also oh they also have them with lines so that if you're teaching penmanship and stuff um, that's a really great thing too so there's all kinds just go to learning palace they have all kinds of different um, whiteboards and stuff like that rainbow resources also has a lot of different um, whiteboard options as well i actually enjoyed going on there they have oh my gosh so many different kinds you could just spend hours looking through them and you'll probably want to buy them all so all right have fun we'll talk to you later bye